Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video, today on the JP side of the game. So, the reason I'm back here is because I actually have some more, I wanted to talk a little bit more about Summer 7 and give some ideas for it. It's not ideas for it, it's not really, so basically here's the thing, if you don't know by now, that by the way, that's gonna be today's video, I hope you like it, if you do, leave a like, comment about anything I said, and subscribe to me for more. Um, if you don't know, there was a Famitsu uh, interview, and in there there was a bunch of information given in the interview. There was one of two things that are pre pretty big that I'm going to mention here now. One is that they want to have less reruns, which seems evident by the fact that we have not had a Summer 6 rerun yet. Uh, it would actually be dumb if we didn't get one, so I think we're going to get one eventually, but chances are we're going to have this event first, which is, I guess, kind of crazy. Um, the reason is is that we're gonna learn more about summer on the 10th and before the 10th happens I wanted to give some ideas for stuff Because the reason is they also announced in the same Famitsu um, For the first time there's gonna be three summer SSRs not two So I wanted to talk about that because that's pretty crazy. It's honestly It's probably so let's go in here so Yeah, three SSRs this is the one we have confirmed, and here's the one SR we have confirmed, which I'm pretty sure is a freebie, because they usually show the freebie next to a, um, a five star, most of the time anyway. So how does the, how are they actually going to approach this? It's hard to know, and I've actually written down some stuff here to help me better figure it out, but I basically have, I believe, three theories about how things are going to break down. Um, let me go here, and let me quickly go here. All right, so here's one of my summer theories right here, which is number one. I guess I should actually go to a previous, no, it actually works here. So here's the first one, four SSRs over three banners. And I say three banners because it's obvious. You always have to remember this when you're talking about this specifically. Uh, they should be down here. The men count as a, a banner themselves. This specific man SSR counts as a banner. So that would be, and Domen is popular enough that he's warranted in thinking about the summer stuff. So he's, this entire banner right here is banner two. Banner one is probably going to be Lady Avalon and then two four stars. That's the way I have it written down. So that would mean the banner three that comes later would be a five star, a five star, and then a new four star, which sounds crazy. It does sound crazy in general, but usually in the summer, let me look up a previous one just to be 100% sure, but there's usually just two new four stars that go along with the five star. Uh, go here, we can easily go back to last year and go into around, I think it's, is it August? No, it's September. Yeah, damn, they had those late. But we can see things here. We can see here summoning one, two new four stars. Summoning three, wrong one. Wait, was Domen really? Huh. So this isn't, I had no idea that he was in the previous one. That doesn't make, Never mind. Let me go, there was four banners last year? That's insane. Here's the one. Achilles was here for this one. And then here was another two, uh, two SSR ones. So, yeah. The pattern would be here in this instance is that this would be better one, this would be Lady Avalon, this would be the two four stars. The regular man banner, and then in this banner it would be a five star, a five star, and then a new four star. The thing that the interview doesn't mention is how many four stars are actually going to be in the event. So in this specific theory, it assumes that one of the four stars is being taken out. And that would mean in this specific instance, both of the five stars would be rated up at the exact same time, and then later on you would summon on one of them. That's the first thing I got here. In terms of the other one, let me see here, because there's actually a couple different ways to kind of go about it depending on how you see it. Here's another one, four SSRs over four banners, and this is the part where it gets a little bit more tricky. So let's assume, using this again as a good template because there's four banners, this would be banner one, this would have Levi Avalon, this would have the two new four stars. This is of course the man banner featuring two other men. And then we would have summoning uh, three, which would be the new five star lady, and then two new four stars. And then we would go here and we'd have the next SSR who would be a summer unit. And then what comes with them is a little bit up for debate. I actually have two things here. Um, my obvious go-to is to say that it would be 
let me see. Uh, it would be two new four stars, which would mean they would bump the rate, meaning we wouldn't get four new four stars. We would actually get six new four stars, Summer Servants, to go along with the fact that we now have an additional one. This is, of course, assuming that they decided to go like, well, we obviously added another Summer Servant. We should include more four stars before we can summon on them. But then there's actually an alternate theory that I have here, which is if this is a, a case of the new SSR Summer Servant getting its own banner, they would just rerun some old ones. Like I've mentioned before, <laughs> there are plenty of Summer Servants that are in crazy... It's been like a long time since they've been featured again. Uh, Kiyohi, uh, Lancer Kiyohimi is a pretty good one. It's going on four years without a solo rate up, stuff like that. So if they wanted to, and with them specifically saying we want to do less reruns now, it would make sense for them to put in some of the older f uh, four stars in there and give them comment of a rate up. Uh, the problem with that is, is that unless they buff them, like it's nice if uh, like Lancer comes back, uh, but if she comes back with no buffs, that's kind of a bummer because she's not that great unless you're a huge Kiyohime fan. Which of course there are based off the fact that her third third star was able to get the number one most grailed out of most servants I think. Something crazy like that. So definitely something to think about there. I also have a specific one where it says what if they did one four, one four old one and one new one. That way there would still be a new four star to go with it. But I would assume that whatever new SSR Summer, whatever it is, it would either have to stand alone, or maybe it could just use reuse two other ones from here. So let's assuming um, four star number one from Lady Avalon's banner, and then from the next one you would use this one here, and then you would put them together, and then boom, you have your banner there. I think it's kind of an inelegant situation, but it's something they can definitely do. The other thing I have not factored into this is craft essences, because usually the way craft essences go is that it's the women's have the women's, the men have the men, and then this banner has a mixture of both of them, but I assume this one also has a mixture of both of them, so it would just be another banner that's just a mixture of all of them together. So, hmm, something that could definitely happen. And then the final one I have here, which I put it under actually impossible, it's not happening. The only reason I'm bringing it up here is that if it does happen, I can say, boom, I called it. Um, <laughs> it's not happening. I have to really point out it's not happening. It's never happening. It's just not something that they have planned in the cards. The ultimate th final thing that they can do is that they can actually just put it in the men's banner because the third SSR Summer Servant is actually a man. Um, there's a lot of reasons why they wouldn't do this. The number one reason isn't because what you think it is, which is that they would sell. That's not true. Oberon has sold very well. It has made plenty of bank. Muramasa has sold very well and is super profitable. There's plenty of men, uh, specific servants that can make a big profit. That's not really the issue. The issue is, is that they've already gone back. They're too deep. They're this many summers deep giving men costumes. <laughs> and if they start giving um, new units, new uh, basically if they start making summer versions of men, what do you do to the old ones? Do they get a summer outfit or have they basically wasted their chance because they already have a spirit origin? So I think that specific situation is why we're probably never going to see a manservant unless it's a specific one like Kineas who is the only male unit in the entire game to actually get a swimsuit and that's because uh, Kineas is a male uh, servant in their female body and that's why they were okay with doing it. <laughs> and I guess to have this weird specific thing saying like Oh yeah, our first and only male servant to get a summer servant. It's going to be Kineas, so I doubt they're going to do it. I doubt they'll do that. But I don't know, it'd be pretty funny. They've definitely been kind of going out of their specific wheelhouse with certain stuff. Like, they've been a little bit more experimental, and if they sped specifically, it is really weird that they have not done a summer rerun. Because they should have done one by now. So if they really are kind of looking back and being like, well, we, we don't need to always have a rerun. And we can make these summer servants a little bit more scarce. Because now that we have pity, I guess we can make them a little bit more scarce and just put them on GSSRs. I don't think that's a good approach to it at all. I think that's actively like some weird Disney shit where they put units in the Disney vault. And then they put movies in the Disney vault so that it had value because they weren't always out there. And then eventually, when the, the idea of money was too big for them, the Disney Vault idea basically died, and it made a whole bunch of other things. It basically, what I'm trying to say here is that it seems like 
maybe this is a case of pity being like, well, now that we have pity, we don't need to always release five star servants to have them reruns. And if that's the case, I think they've misunderstood the idea of pity. Like, it's really bad that some servants don't get a rerun, especially when they're attached to a welfare. Santa Karna and Samba Quetz being one of them. And if specifically this summer does not return, it's kind of shitty because you're also missing out out of a chance. Either you played with during this specific part and you were able to get you the welfare uh, uh, Lily Ventre here. Or you're just completely missing out. And then you're also missing out on your chance of getting any of the... Like, what if you fail? There's plenty of times where I've said, Hey, maybe I'll come back to the banner and see if I can get them then. And it sucks the idea of, like, you get them now or you don't get them now. Is the basic way they see it. And I don't think that's a very good idea for the longevity of the game. But until we actually see them skip it, I guess we can just... It's, it's just weird to me. It, especially with how much of a cash cow and a sacred cow summer event is. It feels weird to not bring it back but I probably would have said the same thing about Christmas when they didn't bring back Samba Quetz. So, weird. Very weird. But yeah, that's my basic idea for it. We'll know a little bit more on the 10th or the 9th, depending on when that uh, live stream is, and we'll see who it is. In terms of the actual units it could be, I have no idea, because I've seen, I guess, certain leaks of it, and I put some, maybe it's them, but I also really doubt it's the units in the leaks, because... It seems a little bit weird. None of those servants specifically outside of one really spoke to me as a, oh yeah, this is also a five star. So it's a little bit weird. Yeah. Yeah. A little, just a little bit of a head scratcher for sure. So going to be kind of interesting to see what it is. Looking forward to whatever it is. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. I just want to talk about that for a little quick bit. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.